Did you know more people are renting than at any other point in the past 50 years? In 2016, 36.6% .6 of households rented their home. That's close to the 1965 number of 37%, based on data from the Census Bureau. Now, each month, the Census Bureau surveys a nationally representative sample of households. The total number of U.S. households grew by 7.6 million over the past decade. However, the number of households that our homeowners remained fairly flat, while households headed by renters grew by nearly 10% during the same time period. The rising home prices, fears remaining from the housing crash, and larger amounts of student debt are some of the reasons why many continue to rent, and millennials, those 35 and younger, continue to be the most likely age group to rent. Well, in 2016, 65% of millennials were renting. Now, that's up 8% from 2006. Young adults haven't accumulated enough wealth for a down payment on a house yet, and owning a home inhibits moving. So millennials are the most likely age group to move. They may prefer not to own yet, however. Cautious renters may not be making the best decision for their long-term happiness. 41% of renters cited their top regret was wishing that they had bought instead of renting. Now in every US major market, it's cheaper to buy a home than it is to rent over a seven year period. Housing prices have been rising with the median value of all homes in the US in June, surpassing $200,000 and up. That's 7% increase from a year ago. Now in the long run though, buying is still a better deal than renting. People must realize that although a mortgage seems like a huge investment, your incomes are likely to rise, especially if you're a millennial, and over time, your housing payment won't seem as big. Now, if you'd like a copy of the complete Pew Research Report, send me an email or give me a call. Now, for minding your own business, Now, point two agents conducted a study of nearly 300,000 active listings, and they produced a list of the most popular terms used to describe homes for sale and apartments for rent. Some of the results were unexpected and kind of surprising. Listing descriptions are probably more important than you might think. They're searchable, so using keywords that will get your listing viewed by more eyeballs is a very great tool. The most frequently used keyword, beautiful. Maybe because beautiful sounds more convincing than okay, nice, grand, or fabulous. Must see, dream, and great also ranked highly as descriptors. So use beautiful in your listing description if you want to fit in, or choose a more exciting descriptor like gorgeous, stunning, or remarkable if you really want to stand out. Hardwood floors appeared second on their list. This feature is a must have for many house hunters. Stainless steel appliances are in huge demand and therefore every agent should mention it when they're advertising a home that is equipped with them. Their list has the top 100 keywords for real estate listing descriptions. Now, if you'd like a copy of that, just drop me an email and I'll get it over to you right away. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.